I am so grateful for all of you, my friends, and I'm especially so blessed and thankful this time of the year. It's time to celebrate Thanksgiving. In today's video, I am going to share some Thanksgiving tablescapes to celebrate that special day. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm 72 now, I almost said 92. <laughs> and I just say it because if I can do it, you can do it too at any age. I wanna thank my wonderful subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you, my dear friends, for watching my videos and commenting and giving me so much support and encouragement. It means the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. This is the best time of the year. We're roaring into the holidays here. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Today, I have three Thanksgiving tablescapes for you. I know so many of you out there absolutely love Thanksgiving. It might be your favorite holiday. The first one is going to be all about pumpkins and turkeys, okay? The second one is going to be my version of a country French Thanksgiving with toile de jouy fabric. And my last one is all about sunflowers. You know, I kind of forgot to do a sunflower table this year, so I thought that would fit right in with the holidays if you love sunflowers. So without further ado, here's my Thanksgiving tablescapes for November. I hope you love them. I hope you get so inspired. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my Tablescapes for November. I've got three Thanksgiving ones to show you, and they're all just kind of a little different. The first one I want to show you here, if your house is in pastel blues, beiges, soft tones, sometimes you don't want orange leaves and orange pumpkins and all of that for Thanksgiving. You want a very subtle look. So I love this. This is kind of my country French Thanksgiving. I got out my table runner that I made. This has got French writing on it, you can see. And I edged it with tiny, tiny brown and cream toile de joui, which is so, so cute. This I did for a baby shower, actually, for the center of a table. And you can still use these things for other occasions also. So what I did for the little country French touch. I brought my little piggy from Home Goods from my kitchen. He's all in beige and brown and I thought how pretty to put it with blue. So what I did is here I included my little fabric covered pumpkins that are in the same fabric as my toile here. You can see how cute with their little twisted tops. By the way, those are Dollar Tree pumpkins underneath there. I have one pick from Hobby Lobby and then Dollar Tree Blue Fall Maple Leaves. Now to bring this over to my uh, table setting, I use my dark brown uh, charger to kind of bring out some of the dark brown tones. And then I have these beautiful blue china. It's very subtle blue. And this is called Countryside by Wedgwood. Okay, this was my mother-in-law's mother's dishes. And um, I anyway, I put that on the brown charger, the soup and the entree plate. And then I just added a linen-like beige napkin that I thought kind of tied in with the runner there. And my everyday faux ivory silverware and glasses and we're all set for a very subtle but pretty kind of country french thanksgiving all right let's take a look at my next tablescape for thanksgiving happy thanksgiving everybody boy is this a traditional thanksgiving table or what it's got all the colors it's a little rustic let's take a closer look so what I did is I got out my burlap uh, runner. This is just burlap by the yard and it's already finished on the edge. And if somebody spills something, you can just throw it away and cut another piece. So I started with that to give kind of a rustic look and texture. I have my wood slice battery operated candle in the glass lantern. And then I just filled the space with lots of fall leaves and 
feathers from Dollar Tree because I thought that would kind of uh, make sense since we have a little turkey on the plate here. And I also added some Dollar Tree burlap uh, fall leaves also. I thought that kind of reiterated the table runner. To bring all of that over to the uh, place setting, I started with my fall leaf placemat that kind of picks up the colors from the centerpiece. My, a dark brown wood charger from Pottery Barn. And I wanted to show that you can use everyday dishes for holidays. As long as everything else is kind of season appropriate, why not use your everyday white dishes? Food looks great on it and you don't have to have extra dishes in your cupboard. But if you have the storage, that's fine too. And of course there are beautiful Thanksgiving uh, dishes too that you can buy but you can use your everyday white ones if you want to. I have a season appropriate napkin here I've had for a long time. And I put a little turkey that is actually a little a place card holder uh, from Hobby Lobby. I think it's so cute. This is my little turkey and feathers uh, tablescape. Everyday faux ivory um, silverware and glasses. And you have a beautiful Thanksgiving tablescape. You could do, if you have a lot, long table, this is my table right here, but if you have a long table, you could do a series of these runners with a separate um, a centerpiece on each one or just continue that down the table. But I think it just screams Thanksgiving. It's so, so beautiful. All right, now let's take a look at a Thanksgiving table and it's all about the sunflowers. So this is my grand finale. I have not done a sunflower table I don't think my whole time I've had my channel and I've had these sunflower dishes, so I thought it was high time. So I wanted to do a, a backdrop of something crisp, black and white check against the sunflowers. I thought that would make them pop. So I got out my white wagon, filled it full with fall flowers, my black and white chip pumpkins from Dollar Tree and some assorted sunflowers I have. I don't have very many, but this is my main uh, ones that I have, and I thought it looked so pretty with the black and white check tablecloth. Then to bring those colors and things over, I went ahead and got my ropey, fringy mat, my again, my dark brown pottery barn uh, charger, and the dishes from Dollar Tree, paired with my smaller checked napkins, everyday faux uh, ivory silverware and glasses, and I think it looks so festive and so pretty. This kind of table can be done for Thanksgiving or beginning of fall or autumn season. I just want to say how grateful and thankful I am for all my wonderful friends that watch my videos. I hope you enjoy these. I hope you get inspiration. I hope you find some joy. And um, I'm going to see you in the next Countdown to Christmas video. Can't wait and happy Thanksgiving. Bye.